with information I think you'll find interesting. Take a look. Welcome back, Shadow Broker. What's this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. Shepard, glad you stopped by. We don't get many visitors. Take it easy. You've been through a lot. You're probably right. I never did say thanks for the rescue. Liara never gave up on you, Farron. I just helped. I'm still amazed Liara came for me. I'll never forget what either of you did. I can log that in the archives for you, sir. I see you met the secretary. For two years, Liara didn't stop looking for you. You two must have been close. She's a good friend. Better than I deserve. How are you holding up, Farron? I'm... I'll be all right. I wasn't always strapped into that interrogation chair. Drell can mentally escape into old memories. It came in handy on the bad days. How many times did the Shadow Broker hook you up to that contraption? A lot. It gets fuzzy. He made the guards watch, as an example. What will you do now that you're a free man? I want to help Liara rebuild this place. But after that... Your schedule's getting full, sir. Let me sync it to your Omni tool. No thanks, I'm fine. How did you and Liara both end up looking for my body? Cerberus headhunted me and Liara to steal your body from the Shadow Broker. I was working for the Broker at the time, and he's the one who scraped up your remains in the first place. What turned you against the Shadow Broker? He started working for the Collectors. You weren't their first victim. I am... was an information traitor. Not a slaver. Looks like you've made a friend. The drone follows everyone. I don't know why the broker kept it around. I'm a shell for a specialized data processing VI. Custom built to your specification, Shadow Broker. It helps coordinate the network's massive information feeds. But it could use a different interface tone. You deemed my default personality sufficient for your needs, Shadow Broker. I wish it would stop calling me that. How do you think Liara's doing as the new Shadow Broker? Operations are almost fully recovered after a slight dip in efficiency. Ever since we repaired the network, Liara's been glued to the archives. I caught her sleeping at her desk more than once. She's busy, but I think she likes it that way. Take it easy, Farron. Thanks. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. You know, relatively speaking. If you're in over your head, we could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Why was he still looking at Protheans? 
They gave us the warning and the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Brokers seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. How'd you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-spaceflight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. You gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. So, you and Farron? No. He's been through a traumatic ordeal. He's emotionally fragile and needs to heal. He's very grateful to me for saving him. But it would be irresponsible of me to take advantage of that. It was good talking with you, Liara. Let me know if you need anything. I think what I need right now is a friend. I can't leave for too long, but spending all my time on this ship. Maybe next time you come by, I could come up to the Normandy. That sounds great. Why don't you come up now? Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although, he did ask if I'd embraced eternity lately. <sighs> of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chalkwaz. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. I thought I'd never see these again. They changed hands more than once. Do you remember Admiral Hackett? He gave them to me so I could return them to you. He sends his best and hopes you're okay. So how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Between you and me? I have no idea how we're gonna do this. I'm doing everything I can, but... You've done more than most. You and your team destroyed the Collectors and walked out alive. We fought them in their own base, and we won. They can't call us young or primitive anymore. Young? You know, I'm 108. 109 in a couple of months. I should get you something nice. You're alive again. I've got everything I want. So tell me what you want. What are you fighting for? I guess I'm fighting for us. All of us. That's a lot of responsibility. People are messy, awkward, sometimes selfish or cruel. But they're trying. And I'm gonna make sure they have a chance. I hope the galaxy proves itself worthy of the effort you're putting into saving it. I should get back to my base, but thanks for inviting me up, Shepard. Come back soon.